Hi, I'm uh, Bruce Gilbert, uh, Professor of Librarianship here at uh, Drake University at, at uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Coles, I'm at Coles Library. Uh, and uh, one of my duties here as a professor of librarianship is to be the liaison to the Drake's College of Business and Public Administration. And of course, in that uh, concept context, I read uh, books on finance and the history of money and so on. And so the book I'm going to talk about today is uh, Niall Ferguson's uh, The Asset of Money. And, uh, uh, Professor Ferguson has uh, appointments at uh, Oxford, Stanford, and uh, Harvard, and uh, has written a number of uh, fine books, but uh, this particular one is of, of interest, obviously, uh, uh, to those that have, have any interest whatsoever in money and want to learn more about the background and financial literacy and so on. And uh, so if you're looking for a book to uh, educate yourself on some of these topics, but also how these things came to be, you know, how did banks come to be, how did bonds come to be, and so on, uh, this is a very fine book to, to, to do. Uh, there are very few flaws in this book. Uh, uh, they, they'd be fairly niggling, and I won't spend any time with those uh, today. Um, uh, before I just go read to a couple of illustrative uh, topics, there are just all kinds of interesting uh, facts that come out with this. Uh, so, for instance, uh, who was the first great uh, welfare superpower? Well, it was not uh, Great Britain, it was Japan, in fact. Uh, so that's one of the things that you find in here. Uh, that Japan is, is providing the cradle of the great uh, welfare uh, kind of uh, one payer coverage for a long, long time. Uh, um, another one is uh, uh, where was the first great stock market bubble uh, that took place in the world? Uh, well, it, uh, and when did it take place? Well, it took place in the early 1700s, and that took place in France. It was kind of engineered by an Englishman, but it uh, uh, took place in France. I'm just going to re re refer now to a couple of very brief uh, topics um, that are brought up in the book, uh, particularly sitting here in Des Moines, Iowa, which is one of the, well which is one of the uh, insurance capitals of the world. Um, it's uh, very interesting to refer back to the very beginning of the very first uh, major insurance fund uh, that's covered in the book. Uh, that fund was the fund for the provision of the widows and children of the ministers of the Church of Scotland. Uh, these two gentlemen got together without computers and without our modern actuarial tables. They got together and figured out uh, how much uh, money might be put, uh, uh, might be generated by this fund and how much might be available for them to pay out to the, uh, to the uh, surviving members of the family. And initially uh, they had set 18,000 pounds in this fund. Uh, and in, uh, 17 years later they were projecting that it would be 58,348 pounds in this uh, fund. In fact, there was 58,347 uh, pounds in this fund, so there's only one pound difference total. Uh, the last thing I'm going to cover here real briefly is uh, the whole concept of financial literacy and financial liter illiteracy. There isn't a whole lot of uh, uh, concepts that uh, uh, that isn't covered in much more great detail, but I just want to talk about how uh, uh, the Professor Ferguson brings out a lot of these different pieces in terms of these are uh, issues that uh, uh, are much more common across the history than you would think, and so uh, financial crises and so on are, are, are very common kind of things. And so you have these uh, uh, errors that we're all prone to in our thinking. And uh, uh, so to a very great extent, you would probably agree with Nietzsche that uh, we're not just prone to error in our thinking, we are steeped in it. And so some of those errors uh, have to do with the concepts like availability bias, bias uh, hindsight bias, uh, bystander bias, all kinds of different ways that we make mistakes in our thinking all the time where we're thinking, thinking we're thinking really clearly but we're making all kinds of mistakes. Uh, obviously the Scottish people can come up within one pound of how much uh, something's going to have is, is a, you know, something of an anomaly rather than, than the other thing. And that's something that I like to think about uh, as I'm thinking about other kinds of literacies that I'm very interested in such as uh, information literacy and so on. There's a, a, a very wealth, a great wealth of other great topics in this book, and I very much uh, encourage you all to check it out. Thank you.